YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and it's been a while since I've done an everyday carry pocket dump video. And I figure it's the beginning of the new year, it's 2017, and SHOT Show is coming up soon, so I'll be getting new gear and rotating it through my, uh, through my system. But I wanted to kind of capture this moment in time of what I've been carrying on me for the past several months. And I'll be showing you um, other items that I rotate in and out of my system as well. Um, these aren't items that I'm trying to promote or sell or anything like that. Although if you do see anything that you like, if you uh, click on the links that I'm going to be leaving in the description box down below, if you end up purchasing anything from Amazon because of those links, that does help support the channel. So be sure you check those out if you're interested in any of these items. Let's go ahead and without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, let's just start from over here. So I have the iPhone 6 Plus and I have the OtterBox, although I am going to be getting a new carry case or a new uh, protector um, case for this. So uh, stay tuned for that. And the watch, I have a, a G-Shock and I like, I just like the features on this. You, you can change the different time zones and, and it has a stopwatch and things like that. I also have a Kalo ring that I use pretty much as my regular wedding band. These things are very inexpensive. I think they're like $18, $19. Uh, or something like that, uh, but yeah, very inexpensive, they're silicone, uh, so if you are going somewhere outdoors or to the gym or whatever, you don't want to scratch if you have a gold wedding band or, or something like that, then uh, I'd really recommend this option. Um, plus, if you lose it, you know, it's easy to replace as well. Next up is just my wallet. This is from BattleBox, by the way. Anyways, but Yep, you notice the euro right here. Keep that in mind whenever you guys are being critical in the comment section. I don't, I don't understand uh, trying to be critical of somebody else. What somebody else carries, someone else carries, but some people have a lot of free time. Um, but there are certain things I'm not allowed to carry for legal reasons while I'm in Europe. Moving on to what I have on my keychain. This is the Gerber shard. It's only around eight bucks, and we got a Phillips head. And a couple of flat heads over here, as well as a bottle opener, and this is a, an edge, so you can cut things like strings. You know, this is important if you're in the military. You can't your uniform can't look like it's in disarray. So strings, uh, tags, you know, uh, for, for your new clothes, all that kind of stuff. Wires, um, just just a great great thing to have, uh, and it's um, TSA approved, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's not TSA approved anymore is the Victorinox Classic SD. This has, you know, your typical knife and a nail file and scissors, as well as a toothpick and tweezers. Moving on, this is an Olight keychain light, and this takes a, a AAA battery. I really like that, the versatility of that. Now, this I just got from a Blade HQ, but this is a peanut lighter. It takes a Zippo uh, lighter fluid, and I like the fact that it doesn't evaporate like uh, like Zippo does. Their uh, their uh, what would you say? Their fuel uh, evaporates really quickly, but not in in this type of container. Let's see what else. What else? What else? Um, I also have this thing. It's glow in the dark. I actually got this from I think like an Etsy store or something like that. I, you know, some people make homemade, you know, paracord bracelets and stuff, but I think it's really good to be able to find your keys in the dark. Let's move some of these things out of the way. The right pocket is, because I'm right-handed after all, is where I keep my uh, my pocket knife. And I really like the Benchmade uh, Presidio Ultra, even more than most other Benchmades. Um, and it just finds its way to my pocket all the time. It's very grippy, it's very, um, it fills the hand, and I like the serrations for, uh, whenever I have a working knife, I want it to have uh, serrations. Um, uh, that's just, as it, those are just my preferences, you might have your own preference. Moving on to some of the other pockets, I've buttoned all, I've unbuttoned all of them, just so it's easy uh, to access, although in uniform, you should have them all buttoned. Um, and this little guy, this has come in, this has been a lifesaver uh, numerous times. Some things you don't think are going to be lifesavers until you start carrying them. One of those things is having something like a bandana on you. 
I have this folded up so that I don't sit on it. And that's one of the reasons why I went with a smaller wallet than what I normally have is just because I don't like sitting on things and um, it's, it's going to hurt your back over time. And uh, But this is somewhat relatively new, but you can open this up and it can make uh, it, it basically forms a triangle bandage and you can use it as a sling and just as a multi-tool multitude of uses oh, knocking things off the table uh, but this is the m18 maverick this is from olight and i don't know why this is always in my pocket but it's just it's, just, it's lightweight it's comfortable it's powerful capable versatile etc etc and i like having the uh, flashlights with this type of pocket clip so that you can clip it to the bill of your hat and use it as a headlamp if you uh, so desire and this is also glow in the dark this part right here so it's easy to find in the dark imagine that a flashlight that you can that you can find in the dark and it has a little a bezel on the top so that if you are in a situation where you need to use less than lethal force you could use it as a coupon device and create distance between you and a, your attacker because that's that's what the goal should be whenever you're uh, encountering somebody who means to do your harm i always well, as many as much as i can um if i have a if i'm wearing pants that have a belt you know if i'm not going to the gym basically i always try to have a leatherman on me uh, or i'll carry uh, one of these this is victorinox i think this is called a swiss tool Swiss Spirit, I love I love this one as well. You guys can check out more information if you uh, if you guys have that. These if I see my other videos that I've done reviews on these, or just by clicking those links like I was telling you uh, on Amazon. Uh, but this is the Leatherman Charge in this one. Although I do also carry the Leatherman Wave. The Leatherman Wave is around eighty bucks, and this value goes up if it's signed by the president and CEO. <laughs> Tim Leatherman, or I should say founder and uh, president. I don't know if he's CEO. Um, the Leatherman charge is going to be more expensive, this this guy. And honestly, if you have the Wave, that's that's pretty much all you need. There are some other good Le Leathermans out there too, so don't don't let me sway you uh, from, uh, from purchasing a Leatherman that you know that you want. And so he, this is a Fisher Space Pen. Uh, the Bullet, I think is what it's called. I always have this attached to my Leatherman sheath. And then right over here, I have these Streamlight Micro Stream. And I love I love this flashlight, and I'll talk about this in a second. But it also has one of those clips that you can use um, attached to the bill of your cap. And then in the back, and I just keep a little bit lighter back here. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the other flashlights that I keep on me. And this is from Through Night. Um, this is the the TN12, um, the, the newest version of it. Um, one thing that I like about this is that well, it, it can tail stand. Uh, is is one of the things I like. I like flashlights that can tail stand. That way, you can light up a whole area. Um, if there is a disaster or something, you can have area lighting. And uh, I like just how easy it is to find the the mode button and the knurling and you know it's. It's built pretty well and it's budget friendly, so it's really hard to complain. I used to not like uh, through night flashlights because when they first started off, they were more budget friendly than they were uh, value, um, but they seem to really have improved the the quality of their products. And then O light, oof, very powerful. This is the the O light S twenty R, and which means it's rechargeable. You use this little base plate and you put it on the, uh, the charging dock. What I like about Olight is that no matter what, if you press and hold down that mode and power button, it's kind of two in one, it will always go in the lowest setting. So I love that fact that you're not going to blind everybody around you if you don't remember which mode that you left it on. If it, you know, for like flashlights that have mode memory. From powered off, if you double tap it, it will always go into its most powerful mode and then from on no matter what mode it's in if you double tap it it will go into strobe mode so uh, pretty cool very simple to use versatile 
got that pocket clip I like, and then this is glow in the dark. This this bezel, this uh, this green right here. So pretty cool. Let's move on to some of these other pockets really quickly. I don't want to take up too much of y'all time. Um, I do keep some band aids just in this small pocket, and I have some some gloves to keep my hands protected uh, when I'm moving things and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Use these things more than I uh, thought that I ever would. And that's why I'm kind of showing you guys all these items is because you might not know that you want something until first off you see, oh, okay, that, that can be easily carried. Um, and then whenever you see someone who has it, like, like myself, you might make fun of me. Like, why do you have a notepad on you at all, all the time? Um, if you're an NCO, you probably don't say that. <laughs> but um, th there, are, there are things that people laugh at me for, for having on me, and then they come over to me later and they say, hey man, do you mind if I borrow that? It happens all the time. This is a Sonic Flash 2, very lightweight. Uh, this is only about a few ounces, and it's got a safety back here. Uh, I think I've done a review on this, deep pocket carry. And one of the things I like doing is carrying the... I, I pretty much always carry this in this pocket, the, the SOG, or not both, but I'm just showing you different options. Or I'll carry the Tough Light from Cold Steel. Um, but one thing I like doing is carrying this in this pocket, and then the paramilitary too in my main pocket. Other knives that I'll uh, carry on me in uniform is also Benchmade 940-1 with carbon fiber handles. No, this is not budget friendly. Unfortunately, all of these knives are not necessarily budget friendly. But as you can see by the title of this video, you know, carrying these on me I'm pretty much on a regular basis. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of it. And this is a Hogue um, pocket knife. And I love this. I love this guy too. Very smooth. And I like the, that, the fact that you don't have to put your hands in between anywhere to close it. You don't have to worry about cutting your fingers. Very cool. I like knives that are like that. Okay. If I'm just walking around the house, or sometimes even whenever I'm just going around town, I should say the base, because going around town, they have, there are different knife laws that I have to obey. But if I'm just on base, and I'm dressed comfortably, <laughs> or if I'm just around the house, uh, this is these are the items that I'll carry, because these are very lightweight uh, knife options and I'll show you some uh, flashlights in a second but this is a Spyderco Endura 4 if you guys aren't familiar with this and you might be saying why do you have such a big knife on you whenever you're just around the house well there's a couple of reasons one this is a very lightweight knife first off and another thing is just for uh, you know self-defense if, if someone does break in and I'm not near my closest zombie apocalypse weapon <laughs> this is the second best thing you also got the Spider Code Manics. This is only this is less than three ounces. I love this knife. I didn't love it at first. Honestly, whenever I see a knife that's really popular, um, I kind of avoid it for a while, and that just that's just my personality. And then I'll accept it eventually. Um, and then sometimes I see why people like it so much. And then you guys probably, if you've heard of the Endura, you've definitely heard of the Spider Code Delica. And I don't carry all of these on me at the same time, usually. <laughs> and then also Spider Code Dragonfly. If you receive as much as many things in the mail uh, as I do, especially now that I'm overseas, I don't have access to all the amenities that I did in America. Um, you're gonna you're always gonna be uh, cutting things open and using things, or just random tasks that you wouldn't expect. Um, and then we also have the Streamlight Nano, uh, sorry, the Micro Stream. I, I just love these uh, flashlights. I always have them on me or in my little gear bags uh, or whatnot. And it only has one mode. You don't have to worry about it. You know, what, what was the last mode I left it in? No, it's only one mode. And then because I have, because I don't have these on me right now, I figured I'd show you guys kind of what, what I grabbed. Um, because I, you know, I just feel like I always have to have something on me. You guys might be the same way. 
but I got the Olight. This is the S15R, and I'm not sponsored by Olight or anything like that, so don't worry. Um, but I have received some of their some of their items, and this is one of them. Um, I like that it's rechargeable, or you can use a AA battery. I mean, how, how cool is that? Just remember <laughs> not to recharge it if you're if it has a Duracell in there that's not supposed to be recharged. Um, and then you got this Leatherman. Um, what's it called? A skeletal. <laughs> and uh, this is basically like a little pocket knife that you can fix things. I, I use this today. Uh, I, I changed the light and I had this on me and I was able to, uh, to unscrew it. something needed to be unscrewed. Yeah, bottle opener. It's got a, it's got pretty much everything you use a uh, regular multi-tool for. So, um, and I'll show you guys just, just a couple of the other pants that I, that I wear usually uh, every day. Uh, if you guys are familiar with 511, this is the Tac Light Pro, and I've had these for, for years, and they've gone through uh, a few adventures with me. And I, I'm gonna need to have, I'm gonna need to use the services on base to have them uh, have seamstress fix that, because cold steel knives are tearing up my pants. But this is the, like I said, the Tac Light Pro, and this is from Black Hawk and the warrior wear. I'll link both of these below. You guys can see I, I bought this from Cabela's, the discount bargain cave. And I really like this belt. I'll link that this belt below. I forgot what it's uh, what it's called. Track line, I think. And uh, I've done I've actually done a video on why I like these uh, these belts. Speaking of which, for those of you guys who are like, oh, man, you carry so much gear. How do you keep your pants up? Do you guys not wear belts? Like that's a serious question. I don't know why I keep getting that question. But anyways, guys, these are all of the items that I uh, carry on me, or I should say rotate through my everyday carry setup. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know down in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer them. And let me know what you guys carry on your, uh, your everyday carry set, uh, setup, and let me know what, what new gear that you've come across. Uh, maybe, I'll, uh, maybe I'll look into that as well. Y'all stay safe out there, and remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless.